Let's promote our agriculture farming. Magmasidlang sa bakuran, hali kayo at kami samahan. Ihahatid ang sustansya sa inyong mga kusina. Kusina sa kanayunan mula sa kabukiran o mga bakuran. Sangkap na walang kasing sarap Ihahatid sa inyong mga kusina Kusina, kusina, la 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 Isang masaganang araw sa inyong lahat mga kanayon Naandito na naman tayo sa barangay Balibago, Lian, Batangas Sa Bibi Bower Farm kung saan ipakikita ko sa inyo kung ano ba talaga ang kahulugan ng farm to table experience. Kaya, huwag kayong haalis. Samahan nyo ko dito sa Kusina sa Kanayunan. Maliban sa mga karne, mayaman din tayo sa mga pagkaing dagat. Kaya ngayong araw, kasama pa rin si Chef T.C. West, ay gagawa tayo ng mga malinamnam na putahe na mula sa bagong huling pusit at isda. Right, Chef? Right. Yeah. So, I'm seeing here a freshly caught squid. Correct. Okay, so what can we do here? Well, after my travels around the world, one of my favorite recipes for squid, I found in Athens, Greece. Athens, Greece. Okay. Yes. And so this is basically a classic Athens, Greece squid recipe. Kahit na hindi kayo nakalabas ng bansa o kahit na hindi kayo nakalabas man lamang ng barangay ninyo, ay eh, pwede pala kayong makatikim ng putahe from Athens, Greece. Dito lamang sa ating uh, lugar. Ano? So we basically have a piece of squid cleaned here before us. Well, you basically have the insides, the guts which we've removed. And then you have the eyes and the tentacles. Okay. So you basically, that's what your squid would look like. Mm -hmm. And we will pull the mouth away from the eyes, keep that to the side. And then here's where the mouth is and you just pull the beak out. It's almost like a bird beak. Color's white because we peeled the outside skin from it. Why do we have to remove the outer skin? There's a chewiness to ah, it. Yun po ang kumukunat po. Dapat po yan eh, maaalis po ninyo para po ang inyong pusit ay maging Ah, malambot. Right. Okay, Chef. So, let's do it. Okay. So, what we're going to do here, we'll take our squid. We're going to do squid rings. Right. It's very easy. You just go ahead and cut cut them into strips. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be quickly sauteed. So, it'll cook really quick. Ay, napakadali humuli po ng pusit. Yan po eh, hindi na pinag-aaralan sa atin. Napakadali po yan. Pero kung bibilhin mo yan sa palengke, ay napakamahal po ng pusit ngayon. And, and the beauty of this one is we're gonna pan saute it and it's gonna be sauteed in olive oil, okay. fresh garlic, lemon, and Filipino oregano. Ito pong oregano ay mabisang uh, gamot din, natural antibiotic. Ito po ay napakadaling itanim sa lupa natin at tinan nyo naman, napakaganda, ano? Dito sa farm namin, maraming maraming oregano. Oregano will just take the leaves off. And this can be very bitter too. Yeah. So it's one herb you want to use sparingly. You don't want to use too much. So this will just cut in small strips. Mm. And then garlic. Yeah. This is fresh clove garlic from the garden. So the garlic, we're not going to be too fancy. We're not going to mince it. We're just going to cut it in uh, chunks. Because mm -hmm. okay. we're basically just flavoring the oil. <laughs> Garlic, oregano. And? And then we're also going to use some lemon zest. Fresh lemon juice. But we also want just some of the outside skin. Yeah, yung outside skin or yung lemon, lemon peel. You don't want to use the white, it's bitter. You want to try to get just the yellow part. Uh -huh. The yellow part. There's nothing better than lime or lemon what, what with any seafood. What does it give the dish? It gives it that flavor that you need. It's the, it's, these are like the, the, the uh, ingredients. The, it's, the, it's the citrus. The citrus acids that's in lemon, mm -hmm. 
really accents seafood quite well. So you want to put your garlic and your uh, lemon in first. Unahin daw natin ang bawang at lemon peel together para daw magkaroon ng flavor ang kanyang oil. So hindi daw dapat ino-overcook ang seafood dahil nawawala ang kanyang uh, yung texture niya. Hindi na maganda, medyo matigas. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna add our lemon juice. Okay. Oh, baka gusto niyo pa siya lang kami dito sa DB Power Park. No? Makita niyo ang iba't ibang mga hayop dito at yung mga livelihood programs na aming uh, binibigay sa mga tao. Ang saga nang magkaroon kayo ng idea. I'm gonna add a little white wine. Okay. We can we use lambanog sometimes? Sure. That's it. We're just gonna let it simmer and reduce a little and then all the flavors will be combined wow. together. Napakabango. And then uh, tapos na ang ating uh, Athens squid. That's it. Wow. Oregano and a nice Voila. piece of bread on the side. Now you're talking. Man. Just like so, downtown. Tapos na ang ating appetizer. At ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin ang ating main dish, which is, uh, what is our main dish? It's fresh fish from the ocean. Fresh fish from the ocean, filet. Filet, and we're going to be serving it with a citrus herb beurre blanc, which is basically a herb beurre blanc. French butter sauce. Herb beurre blanc. Sarap ihahatid sa inyong mga kusina. Kusina, kusina. Malaki ang potensyal na lumago pa ang sektor ng agrikultura. Agriculture is our treasure. Isang kayamanang hindi mauubos. Inihahandog ang isang programang naglalayong paigtingin ang pagsasakat ang Magsasaka TV. Bibisitahin natin ang naggagandahang farm sa buong bansa. Palaguin ang mga negosyong pang-agrikultura at makikilala natin ang iba't ibang muka ng Magsasakang Pinoy. Sama-sama tayong umula dito sa Magsasaka TV. Kusina, la 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 la. Kusina, kusina. Okay, so ngayon naman ay lulutuin na natin ang ating fish fillet with French butter sauce. Siyempre, kinakailangan natin ng fish at uh, very timely. Nandito ang maraming dagat sa atin, kaya meron tayo ngayong freshly caught. Bagong huli po, kagabi lang hinuli yan, na lugsuhin. Yan. Uh, sa taga, sa English ay, what do you call this? A snapper. A snapper. First step we need to do is a very sharp knife. Okay. The sharpest knife you have. Okay. Then we're going to be cutting the fillet of fish from the tail going to the head. And you want to feel the bone, okay. and then you want to lift up the knife just a little bit. Okay. So, kinakailangan marandaman nyo yung pinakabuto ng isda, yung pinakagitna, at iaangat mo lang ng konti yung uh, kutsilyo mo doon sa buto. Take the stomach and the guts out. Mm -hmm. So, yung may parte ng chan at uh, uh, tinik, ay eh, kinakailangan maalis natin. Okay, so you have a clean fillet there, just a few bones here. If you want, you can take your time and take them out. Peel it up. With yeah. a knife like this. Okay. Or you can get little tweezers. Uh oh, pwede nyong tanggalin ng, uh, uh, iipitin nyo ng kutsilyo, pero delikado yun. At gagawin na lang natin, kukuha tayo ng, uh, parang chani, ano? Para matanggal yung mga tinik-tinik. You can peel them with your hand. Ah, okay. very smooth, ha? Eh? Very smooth. Right. We'll do the same side on this side. Mm -hmm. Now, Chef, uh, I understand you are going to remove the bone, but the bone, as you can see, has uh, some meat on it. Yes. What can we do with the fish bones? Definitely make a fish stock or fish soup. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, yung daw tinik ay pwede raw nating magamit para paggawa ng fish stock o yung sabaw ng isda. No? Para ito, minsan ginagamit kung halimbawa magluluto ka ng gulay or kahit anong dish, pwede mong gamitin yung fish stock. Ito po ay nagdadagdag ng sarap sa ating mga niluluto. 
Ayan, after we fillet the fish, uh, ngayon naman, set aside muna natin siya para i-prepare muna natin tong sauce. It's a French butter sauce. You usually wouldn't use cream in classical French uh, butter sauces, but we're in the tropical elements and using a little cream will help stabilize it. Okay, so chef, please proceed. All right, so we're basically going to be doing a reduction. A reduction is taking our white wine and then we're going to be taking these three herbs. Uh, red shallot, garlic, and bay leaf, and we're going to reduce it in our saucepan. We're cooking down the herbs in the white wine, bay leaf, mm -hmm. and I've also made a little lemongrass broth here. Mm -hmm. So I basically made a lemongrass tea. Lemongrass broth. Ibig sabihin, pakukuluan nyo yung tanglad. Yung lemongrass tanglad po yan, yan ay naitatanim natin ito kahit saan sa Pilipinas tumutubo ang tanglad no? kung sabaw noon yun ang pwede mong gamitin na lemongrass broth can you use distilled base alcohol? distilled that would be like rice wine? yes something like that yeah you can use wine pwede daw gamitin alright so we've cooked, cooked this enough now the flavor is coming out into oh, our liquid okay I'm gonna add just a touch of cream okay put cream Nung nakaraang episode ay tinuruan na tayo, na tayo ng ating guest chef na gumawa ng cream. Ang cream ay galing sa gatas. Pwedeng gatas ng baka, gatas ng kambing, yan. pwede rin gatas ng kalabaw. Ilalagay mo lang po yung gatas sa isang garapon at uh, hihintayin mo kinabukasan. Yung iiba, maghihiwalay yun. At yung iibabaw na isang malapot-lapot na substance, yun po ang cream. And then again, our lemon. Okay, again, lemon. Huh? Marami tayong lemon dito sa farm. Okay. Lemon goes great with any seafood. Any mm -hmm. seafood. Sabi niya, lemon goes great with any seafood. So, yan talaga ang kapartner ng isda. Pang alis ng lansa. Yan. So, halu-haluin natin. Okay. You can smell the aroma. Yeah. All wow. the fresh herbs. Yeah. And I know Asians don't like butter but the French love cooking with butter mm. and it's very hot out here today uh, so you don't want to use too much butter just a little bit just to give it give it some flavor and right after you add the butter you want to quickly strain it and you want to cool down that sauce otherwise you're just going to boil it too much and then it will separate. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to separate. It just doesn't look beautiful. Okay. It doesn't taste. Kapag nailagay nyo na daw po yung butter, ay uh, hahaluin nyo siya at aalisin nyo na agad sa apoy dahil mag maghihiwalay ang butter at ang uh, wine. So, kasi kinakailangan niya na yung magkasama. Pag yan ay naghiwalay, yung taba at saka yung oil, alam nyo naman na yung taba at saka yung tubig, eh, hindi na magiging maganda ang outcome ng ating uh, sauce. Okay? So is this done? Uh, pretty much. Now I just want to add some fresh herbs from the garden. Uh, okay. This is the rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary is very European yeah. and very aromatic. Wow. And to clean rosemary, you basically just... They said that uh, sniffing rosemary can increase your memory. Yeah? Yeah. I better start sniffing it then. Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but uh, <laughs> that's what they said. So you just want to run your fingers down there and it comes right off very easily. Mm -hmm. Rosemary is also good for beef. Very good for beef. Yeah, very good for, for beef. Yung mga nagluluto ng baka dyan, i-marinate nyo yung inyong mga angas beef. Uh, lagyan nyo ng rosemary. Kinabukasan ay napakabango. This is fresh tarragon from the garden. Tarragon. This goes great with seafood also. Yeah. This is a baby tarragon. It's very young but it's got a very unique floral flavor that most other herbs don't have. Yeah. Uh, alam nyo ang mga herbs na ito ay magiging available din sa mga grocery stores pero iba kasi yung galing talaga sa sa farm na kapipitas mo palang buong buo pa yung flavor niya no? sa so, maaaring makabili ka sa grocery pero uh, parang wala nang masyadong amoy at hindi na masyadong masarap yeah? so this is more like this is like an herb uh, herb butter broth it's mm. not a classic French butter sauce but this is it's nice for the hot weather and the conditions that we live in here in in the warm weather. Yeah, okay. Can I see? So right now we're infusing the lemongrass and the rosemary. 
So we have all our wonderful herbs just uh -huh. right now mixing and blending together. And then what we're going to do is set this to the side while we grill our fish. Mm -hmm. And as soon as our fish is done, we're going to pour this right on top of the grilled the fish. snapper and we're ready to eat. All right. Okay. Ngayon naman ay lulutuin na natin ang fish fillet. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so tell us what to do first before we cook it. Okay, we want to coat it with a little bit of oil on both sides. Mm -hmm. Keep the moisture in. And I'm trying something which is a little dangerous, but I think we can do it. And we're going to grill it on the grill. I'm only going to grill it. And, and all eat this also. Western food. Let's try. The fresh fish. Yung iba kasing our fish is so it's going to make fish fresh mm. plate to put. Look at that. You see how easy the grilling method of cooking. Oh. Uh, mo yung uh, it's, it's easier to cook. So, Chef, uh, and the. Uh, what is the best fish for you? The best fish for me? Wow, that's a tough question. Kung gusto nyo ng Yes. We can turn it A little more oil. napakadaling lutuin ng sariwang isda. Ibang-iba siya, no? Kaya pag ang isda ay nakita nyo niluluto nyo tapos nagkakahiwa-hiwalay, eh medyo uh, matagal na yun. Kaya uh, minsan dyan may mga chemical pang nilalagay sila para lang hindi mabulok, no? So mag-iingat din kayo sa pagkain ng isda. Mas maganda talaga yung galing talaga sa dagat na nakita nyo. Ha? Okay, so, so sa mga ano, sa mga kasama natin na nanonood at nakasubaybay, kung gusto nyo pumasyal dito sa DB Bower, Welcome po kayong lahat. Malapit lang po tayo sa dagat kaya pagkatapos ninyong mamasyal dito sa farm at makita ang iba't ibang uh, livelihood na aming uh, uh, itinataguyod para sa mga tao ay maaari kayong pumunta sa beach at i-enjoy ang ating karagatan. Matabong kay beach. Very popular. I can see success in your fish fillet. It's looking good. It's a little rare but it's cook cooking a little bit yeah. more. Wow, look at that. That's that's awesome. Nice, huh? I mean, uh, you can just smell the freshness. You just yeah. look at it, huh? You that see? Pure whiteness. Malalaman niyo po talaga kung sariwa yung isda pag niluto niyo. Kasi uh, yung mga istang uh, bilasa <laughs> ay maghihiwa-hiwalay yeah? at uh, wow. And then that clear broth can smell the white wine and herbs. Mm-hmm. All right. So, the dill. Our favorite. <laughs> dill is a multi-purpose herb. You can use it for flavoring or for decoration. There we go. Our grilled snapper. Wow. With our fresh lemongrass herb broth. Okay, so pwedeng-pwede na nating tikman ang mga inihanda sa atin ni Chef TC West. Sigurado akong napakasarap na naman ito. Alright. Yeah?
malaki ang potensyal na lumago pa ang sektor ng agrikultura. Agriculture is our treasure. Isang kayamanang hindi mauubos. Inihahandog ang isang programang naglalayong paigtingin ang pagsasakat ang Magsasaka TV. Bibisitahin natin ang naggagandahang farms sa buong bansa. Palaguin ang mga negosyong pang-agrikultura at makikilala natin ang iba't ibang muka ng magsasakang Pinoy. Sama-sama tayong umula dito sa Magsasaka TV. Kusina, la, 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 la. Ayan, so ready na ang mga uh, dish na prepare sa atin ni Chef T.C. West at titikman na natin. Siyempre, it has to pass the taste test. Let's I'm go. sure it will. Let's try this one first. Okay. Go. La, 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 la. Wow. Of course, you will say. Let alone the nice flavors to it, that's one thing. But just knowing it came straight from the ocean, wow. you know it's fresh. Mm -hmm. You can just cook that and, with and nothing. And the, the texture is really uh, interesting because it's uh, juicy. Mm -hmm. Juicy and yet crunchy. Mm -hmm. yep. Sariwa. Now, if it's not spicy enough for some people, I know a lot of people like spicy food, throw in a little chili pepper. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay. So let's try this one. This one. Okay. You go this way, I go this way. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow, you can see. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. That's winner. Nice, yeah? Mmm, napakasarap po talaga. You know, the good thing with fresh uh, produce is that you don't need too much to make it taste good. Simplicity is elegance. Exactly. I am. Okay, so, muli po. Ako si Dexter Villamin, Chef TC West. Lagi niyong tatandaan, hindi kailangan maging mahal ang pagkain dahil ang masustansyang sangkap ay nasa paligid lang natin. Samahan niyo kami sa susunod na linggo ulit. Dito lang sa Kusina sa Kanayunan. Salamat! Always the best Kusina sa Kanayunan Mula sa kabukiran o mga bakuran Sangkap na walang kasing sarap Ihahatid sa inyong mga